Have you ever heard of a finger exoskeleton? It might sound strange, but regularly pressing buttons on a machine can hurt your tendons. Artus is a passive exoskeleton that protects your fingers from bending too far back while still allowing natural movements. Priced fewer than $110, it helps prevent finger injuries by stopping the joints from overextending. This protects the fingers from gradual damage. The device consists of three nylon segments per finger, two for the thumb, connected by polymer stainless steel joints called digilocks. These joints allow the fingers to move naturally while locking to prevent backward bending. Artus exoskeletons are durable and lightweight, weighing between 6 to 12 grams. They can handle static loads of up to 50 kilograms. The design ensures users' tactile sensitivity remains intact while providing significant protection for the fingers. In 2018, experts estimated the global Kiwi market at 7.6 billion, a figure that was even higher than the GDP of some countries that year. In short, Kiwis are a major industry. That's why this robotic Kiwi picker is gaining attention. It uses cameras and smart algorithms to identify and harvest up to 90% of the fruit. This company started getting calls shortly after the coronavirus lockdowns began. Hidden behind the human health risk posed by the pandemic, another crisis has been unfolding. The risk of rotting due to a lack of workers to harvest them. Traditionally, seasonal labor consists of migrant workers, students, travelers, and retirees. However, a shift towards urban living has made it harder for farmers to find enough workers for the two address this issue. Some farmers are turning to automation. Smart robots that can navigate orchards, recognize fruit, and harvest them have been in development for a decade. These machines could help ease labor shortages and sustain production. For instance, a kiwi fruit harvester has been created to identify, pick, and sort fruit before delivering it to the pack house. An automated asparagus picker is also in development, using machine vision and artificial intelligence. Leave traffic behind and enjoy the ride. No need to steer or use pedals, that's the future. In a few years, unmanned cabs like the e-copter will be available. This electric vehicle offers a 50 kilometers range and a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour. Cities worldwide struggle with overpopulation and urban sprawl, leading to severe traffic congestion. This causes economic losses estimated at over $400 billion annually in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Germany, according to a 2018 report by The Economist. To address this problem, FlyNow Aviation, led by CEO Jürgen Greil, is developing UAM vehicles to solve these challenges. These vehicles complement existing infrastructure and offer efficient travel options. The company seeks to revolutionize urban mobility, like Henry Ford did with the Model T, its vehicles use automatic flying along established flight paths, ensuring safety and reliability. Redundant systems in designs help prevent accidents and collisions. Each rotor has its own electric motor, providing a safety net against potential failures. Tap water might have over 60 harmful substances like lead and arsenic, while bottled water can be expensive and most plastic bottles aren't recycled. A solution to these issues is a device called Spout, which can extract up to 9.5 liters of water from the air each day and costs about 50% less than water delivery services. Many people in the United States take their drinking water for granted, but water scarcity due to droughts and climate change is a growing issue in North America and worldwide. In 2018, 3.6 billion people had inconsistent access to water, according to the World Meteorological Association and Spout Ventures, aims to help by designing atmospheric water generators, which condense potable water from the air's humidity. Today, Spout is launching its first consumer product, a small generator that fits on a countertop. 
It only requires a standard wall plug to operate and produces up to 2.5 gallons of water daily. The company claims that 80% of homes worldwide are in humid enough climates for the device to work. Spout, founded in 2019 by Volmer and Tyler Breton, this system uses clay to absorb water from filtered air, which is heated, condensed, and filtered. Minerals are added to the water to balance its pH. The final water is collected in a pitcher, with UV light in the lid preventing bacterial growth. It comes in price for $599, with an additional estimated $100 per year for filter replacements. If you like tech gadgets, check out the Prime X Haptic VR Gloves. They allow you to interact with virtual objects and provide enhanced touch feedback. Tesla uses these gloves to train its robots, likely due to their quick 45-second setup time and 5-hour battery life. They cost about $4,450 per pair. This XR gloves offer an immersive experience in any XR workflow, allowing you to interact using your hands naturally. They combine precise finger tracking with integrated haptic feedback for a lightweight, comfortable solution ideal for VR training and design validation. Powered by Quantum AI, these gloves use cutting-edge machine learning algorithms, trained with top-quality tracking data. This technology continuously improves over time and integrates seamlessly into Manus Core. And Manus uses them to build finger tracking datasets as a foundation for Quantum AI. The gloves provide a smooth, immersive experience, allowing users to perform a full range of motion without interruption. They offer realistic per-finger haptics for a powerful, interactive VR experience that enhances learning and training across various fields, including medical, educational, and military. The gloves feature swappable batteries, allowing for uninterrupted use with up to 12 hours of battery life on a full charge. They can also be powered by an external USB Type-C port. A charging station can fully charge up to six batteries simultaneously within one hour. In the movie, the main character takes pills that boost his brain power, allowing him to function at a high level. He can recall books he's barely glanced at, win people's trust with ease, and even foresee future events. However, if such pills existed, they might soon be obsolete. Elon Musk's company Neuralink create brain neurochips that could initially aid medical treatments and later unlock human potential. These chips can regulate hormones, transmit music at frequencies humans can't hear, and enable telepathic-like communication. This company aims to create a device that links human brains directly to computers. It gathers information from neural threads spread across different areas of the brain related to motor skills. These threads contain sensors capable of recording and transmitting electrical signals. Neuralink uses a neurosurgical robot for precise implantation is also working on an app that lets users control a keyboard and mouse using their thoughts alone. The technology behind Neuralink works similarly to electrophysiology. It captures electrical signals produced by neurons as they communicate across synapses. This data is collected by electrodes, detecting changes in voltage spikes associated with brain activity. However, it's important to note that it doesn't read minds. It interprets brain activity as actions. Researchers like Sonal Babarwal compare Neuralink's function to how blood pressure indicates stress levels. Brain signals can reveal whether someone is awake, asleep, relaxed, or focused. London is expecting a significant increase in bicycle traffic, with about 10 times more bikes on the streets in the coming years. In New York, bike use also doubled in March 2020. This has motivated the N Frontier team to create a prototype for what they call the world's smartest bike helmet. The helmet features surround sound and an airbag called Face Shield, all designed to enhance safety for cyclists. 
and Frontier collaborated with Makerverse's engineering team to find the best production method. They chose selective laser sintering, a 3D printing technology, and PA-12, a durable polyamide material, to produce complex and precise helmet parts. Thanks to Makerverse's reliable supply chain, the parts were expertly manufactured, including the outer shell and inner lining. The Pilo helmet prototype was unveiled at the IAA Mobility 2023 Motor Show in Germany. Attendees and media praised its innovative technology and sleek design. Now, N-Frontier is ready to bring the product to market, aiming to enhance cyclist safety. Chris Cheslack, an engineer, is familiar with wind turbine blades, which led him to create a robot to help with their maintenance. This six-legged robot moves across the blades, inspecting them for cracks and deformities. Its first major task was examining the Catapult Offshore Power Station in Scotland. This robot was developed through a $1 million collaboration project between Bladebug and the Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult, with partial funding from Innovate UK. This robot has waterproof outer shell to protect it during inspection and maintenance on wind turbines. The company explored and tested various design elements in 2017 and 2018 to ensure effective performance in a compact form. They later revealed the Bladebug MK1 robot, capable of securely gripping all areas of a blade. In November 2020, they made history by achieving the world's first blade walk by a robot on an offshore wind turbine. Over two days in mid-October, the robot repeatedly scaled blades at Ore Catapult's 7MW Leavenmouth Demonstration Turbine off the coast of Fife, Scotland. While in June 2021, the Bladebug robot completed its first remote lightning protection test on an offshore turbine. It was controlled from the nacelle and performed various checks and tasks beyond visual line of sight. Germany's growing drone market has led to the creation of SUCOM, a new cellular communication protocol made for cargo drones. There are also many drones for fun use, including one with a unique forward-swept wing that surprises customers. It's suitable for RC hobbyists, first-person view enthusiasts, or as an unmanned aerial vehicle. The goal with the DRAC was to empower anyone to capture high-quality video, photos, or scientific data over large areas using an unmanned aircraft. Made with German EPP foam and assembled in the US, the DRAC kit includes EPP wings and fuselage, custom-made carbon fiber spars, fiberglass rods, and various other parts. It's equipped to carry electronics and sensors for diverse applications. There's a version with a Cobra brushless motor and a 7,000 mAh battery, priced at $550. While assembly is required, it's lightweight for manual launch, capable of vertical takeoff and landing, and ideal for capturing stunning videos. Since 2019, Japan's space agency and Toyota have been working together on the Luna Cruiser, a vehicle designed for the moon. The mission is challenging because the moon's environment includes extreme cold, low gravity, a vacuum, and radiation. The vehicle will be built by Toyota with help from Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and is expected to be ready by 2031 for NASA's Artemis mission in 2032. The rover is designed to function like an electric motorhome, providing a pressurized environment for the crew. This will allow astronauts to remove their spacesuits and live comfortably for up to one month. The vehicle can also navigate the lunar surface autonomously, using LiDAR technology to avoid obstacles. It will use regenerative fuel cells and solar panels to generate energy and sustain life on board. Water produced as a byproduct will be recycled and used for further electrolysis.
This cruiser is expected to have an operational lifespan of about 10 years and travel 100,000 kilometers on the moon's surface. One in every 63 Americans works in the horse industry, which has a $102 billion impact on the US economy. Horses are highly valued in the country, so many products are available to care for them. For example, you can buy a set of four hoof boots for $440. These boots protect hooves from damage and reduce fatigue by absorbing shocks and providing support. Loved by endurance and trail riders, these boots promise not to cause rubbing. Crafted from an advanced polymer compound, the boots provide excellent grip and traction on all surfaces. They are tailored to fit hooves trimmed in a natural barefoot style with a short toe, low heels, and Mustang roll. Renegade hoof boots are great for high-performance equine sports and are widely used by endurance and trail riders across different disciplines. They are known as the official hoof boot of the Tevis Cup, a renowned 100-mile endurance horse race held annually in the Western United States. Skateboarding can be hard for beginners because the board moves forward and backward, making balance difficult. To help with this, the makers created a skateboard with patented wheels that only spin in one direction. The skateboard is 56 centimeters long and falls into the mini cruiser category, as defined by its creators. Constructed from lightweight materials, they cater to riders seeking improved maneuverability and carving capabilities. Compared to regular cruisers, mini cruisers have shorter deck sizes, making them nimble for urban travel. In contrast, longboards are larger, providing stability at higher speeds and come in various shapes like pintail or symmetrical cutouts. These are ideal for mastering skateboarding fundamentals such as pushing, stopping, kick turns, tic tacs and confident turning before progressing to more advanced tricks like ollies and flips. In fact, they are equally if not better suited for these foundational skills compared to regular skateboards. While experienced skaters may reach speeds of 15, 25 meters per hour, beginners typically cruise at speeds ranging from 5, 15 meters per hour. Forget about Optimus Prime. India has created something even cooler, a rickshaw that transforms into a scooter. India is now among the top three global car markets at the end of 2022, indicating a market for this innovation. The Surge S32 is an electric car with two power units. The rickshaw comes in different versions, one with passenger seats and another with a cargo platform like a pickup truck. Just like Batman's car, this vehicle transforms from a three-wheeler into a two-wheeler scooter with the push of a button, taking only three minutes. It's designed for self-employed individuals. Owners can easily switch between the two modes, allowing for flexibility in their daily activities. This class-shifting vehicle concept aims to improve users' earning potential and lifestyle. The vehicle's cabin transforms, deploying a spring-loaded stand mechanism, and the scooter emerges with its own set of features, including LED lights and a speedometer. The Surge S32's power and battery are divided between the three-wheeler and the scooter. The three-wheeler boasts a robust 10 kilowatt engine and an 11 kilowatt hour battery, providing ample range and a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, the scooter is equipped with a three kilowatt engine and a 3.5 kilowatt hour battery, offering a slightly faster speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Alex Kazek, a four-time world kite surfing champion, has set a new record by reaching speeds of over 100 kilometers per hour on a kite. Instead of stopping there, 
Kazek co-founded Sirico and is now developing a sailboat to exceed 150 kilometers per hour. The boat uses a streamlined hydrofoil hull and a kite, allowing it to lift above the water as it speeds up, similar to a flying fish. Alex Kaisergs is aiming to break the world speed sailing record again with the help of a team of athletes, entrepreneurs, and financiers. Kaisergs made history in 2010 by becoming the first person to reach 100 km per hour using only wind power. Sirocco is based in Marseille and focuses on creating a wind-powered boat that can surpass 80 knots, equivalent to 150 km per hour. The boat features a 6-meter-long fish-shaped capsule pulled by a kite and suspended above the water, with a retractable arm attached to a submerged foil for stability and control. The boat's design combines aerodynamics and fluid physics, serving as a foundation for future innovations in maritime technology. Sirico's ultimate goal is not just to set a record, but to push the boundaries of maritime technology, speeds of over 100 km per hour on a kite. Instead of stopping there, Kazek co-founded Sirico and is now developing a sailboat to exceed 150 km per hour. The boat uses a streamlined hydrofoil hull and a kite, allowing it to lift above the water as it speeds up, similar to a flying fish. Alex Kaisergs is aiming to break the world speed sailing record again with the help of a team of athletes, entrepreneurs, and financiers. Kaisergs made history in 2010 by becoming the first person to reach 100 km per hour using only wind power. Sirocco is based in Marseille and focuses on creating a wind-powered boat that can surpass 80 knots, equivalent to 150 km per hour. The boat features a 6-meter-long fish-shaped capsule pulled by a kite and suspended above the water, with a retractable arm attached to a submerged foil for stability and control. The boat's design combines aerodynamics and fluid physics, serving as a foundation for future innovations in maritime technology. Sirico's ultimate goal is not just to set a record, but to push the boundaries of maritime technology. Barilla Pasta is a product from one of the world's largest pasta manufacturers. The company is working to reduce its use of fossil fuels. One of its factories in Italy uses an innovative method with about 500 moving mirrors to concentrate sunlight onto a single point. This generates thermal energy, which is stored in special tanks that can handle temperatures up to 1000 degrees Celsius. It will help Barilla produce pasta more sustainably by using renewable solar energy. The project showcases a pilot system that generates electricity and heat from solar power continuously, meeting Barilla's production needs reliably. This receiver heats ceramic particles instead of molten salt, offering benefits like higher temperature resistance, cost-effectiveness, and environmental safety. The energy stored in these particles is stored efficiently in large, insulated tanks, providing power even at night. The system can produce steam for power generation or hot gas for industrial processes using the stored heat. After releasing their energy, the cooled particles are reheated for reuse. In times of insufficient sunlight, energy from wind, solar or biogas sources can supplement the system's power needs. If you have extra funds, consider purchasing this Thermal Vision Monocular. Weighing just 170 grams, it fits in your pocket and can detect foxes and squirrels from up to 90 meters away. The battery lasts up to 5 hours and the camera starts up in 5 seconds. It works in temperatures from minus 20 to 40 degrees Celsius, making it a great tool for any season. It allows you to see other vessels, landmarks, buoys, and floating debris even in total darkness. This camera enhances your safety and confidence on the water by using Flower's advanced thermal sensor technology to create high contrast images based on heat rather than visible light. This compact model is easy to use with one hand and withstands various weather conditions, including rain and wind. 
This monocular can also help locate people who may have fallen overboard and even marine life breaking the water's surface. Its straightforward operation and fast startup make it user-friendly, even for beginners. You can capture videos or photos of your adventures and review them on the built-in 640 by 480 display. The package includes a charging cable, a protective lens cap, and a neck strap. The Ocean Scout TK is priced at $649, offering an affordable yet powerful tool for anyone spending time on the water. A seller offers a birdhouse for $250 that includes AI cameras and promises to help protect bird populations. Developers raised over $178,000 for the project, surpassing their $5,000 goal. The main feature is the AI technology that can recognize key stages of a bird's life, like chick birth and feeding, and record short videos for social media, even in low light. It allows you to watch birds up close without disturbing them by live streaming the inside of the birdhouse to your smartphone. It uses AI technology to recognize nesting and incubation stages, creating short videos for you to share. This feature helps you observe crucial moments and contributes to bird conservation efforts. With two cameras inside and outside the birdhouse, BirdFi Nest offers high-definition views and allows you to easily adjust the camera angle. The birdhouse features a 180-degree magnetic door design for easy cleaning and protection from predators. Its anti-predator entrance hole gives birds a secure nesting environment, improving nesting success and encouraging birds to choose the BirdFi Nest as their home. For more, it is made from bamboo, a highly renewable material. Bamboo's fast growth and low water and pesticide use make it an excellent choice for creating a better habitat for birds. The oxygen trainer is a handy device that helps improve your breathing. Whether you're an athlete, drummer, or swimmer, it boosts your oxygen intake and reduces fatigue. Climbing stairs becomes easier, and you'll say goodbye to shortness of breath. Plus, it doesn't need batteries or charging, so you can take it with you anywhere. This device was crafted by Bass Rutten himself for enhancing lung strength and endurance. It regulates air intake, improving oxygen efficiency during workouts. Using it for just under 4 minutes with 30 reps can strengthen your diaphragm and external intercostal muscles, allowing you to breathe in and out more efficiently. Over time, you can increase your lung capacity up to 5 times. This device isn't just for athletes. It benefits singers, hikers, military personnel, musicians, and those who meditate. Its portability allows you to train anywhere, fitting easily into gym bags, purses, or suitcases. Made of high-quality silicone, it's latex-free and safe for both adults and children, facilitating maximum chest expansion for better breathing. It's ideal for use before any physical activity or a long day at work. With consistent use, you'll notice significant improvements in your breathing, enhancing your overall well-being. Liquid Image created an action mask that combines a scuba mask with an action camera. This mask, called the HD720P, can record videos and take photos underwater up to a depth of 40 meters. It uses AAA batteries, four of them last for about two hours of video recording or 2,000 photos. Let's hear what a water appassionato says about it. I enjoy water sports, particularly swimming and snorkeling. I've always wanted to get scuba certified and recently snorkeled in the Virgin Islands. I wished I had an underwater camera to capture the underwater beauty. My colleague told me about his sailing experience and I found a scuba mask with an HD camera. I bought it and was excited to try it out. The mask uses a 4GB memory card and shoots video in 1080p at 30 frames per second or 720p at 60 frames per second as well as 5 megapixel still photos. The mask has two buttons, an on-off switch and a shutter button. It defaults to video mode with a blue light, which changes to red in still photo mode. 
However, the LED light and small LCD display are hard to see underwater.